to the migrant crisis now. Three Chicago aldermen are calling for heads to roll after a botched attempt at a migrant tent camp in Brighton Park. Alderman Raymond Lopez, Anthony Beal, and Anthony Napolitano are demanding the resignations of seven city officials who are in positions dealing with the migrant crisis, ranging from the Deputy Commissioner of Community Safety to the Mayor's Deputy Chief of Staff. The Alderman's letter blasted the plan, saying, quote, what we have seen in Brighton Park, however, does not show members of your administration as being either serious or deliberative or collaborative in addressing this issue. This all comes one day after the state pulled the plug on the Brighton Park location, which the city selected, but city leaders insist there's another suitable location. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza is live in Morgan Park to explain. Sabrina? Well, there is no work happening right now at 115th and Halstead here in Morgan Park. The difference between this location and the one in Brighton Park, though, seems to be that the environmental review is happening before construction begins and not simultaneously. We know that soil from this site was actually taken for testing about two weeks ago, and we're learning now sources are telling us that the tents in Brighton Park are going to soon be relocated here. Now, this, of course, is after the plans at 38th and California were scrapped and all eyes are here at 115th and Halstead, the city's second chosen location to house migrants in tent base camps. The history of this land in Morgan Park seems less controversial and possibly more suited for the tents than the lot in Brighton Park, as according to multiple people close to those projects. It is already covered in concrete rather than dirt like there was in Brighton Park. Toxic metals found in the soil there prompted the city to cover it in gravel. That would not be the case here. Alderman Ronnie Mosley told us that the only concern the city noted was that there possibly was a cleaners open at one point on this land. And depending on how that business disposed of their materials, that could affect the environmental report. The city has promised the aldermen that should this project move forward, they would host a community meeting and provide a timeline on the construction and usage for the tent facility, which would end by October 31st of next year to make way for the Morgan Park Commons, a housing, park, and retail development. It's very important to us because we have Morgan Park Commons, which is going to be residential housing, over 280 units. So we want to make sure that it's safe for our residents in the 21st Ward. Again, that environmental report is expected to be completed by Friday. We'll keep you posted as soon as we learn more about what's in that report. For now, that's the latest here at 115th and Halstead. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.